Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting they are uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because tarot is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek for there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm gonna show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video libra you lovely people uh, into this video, we're going to check into your week, uh, February 28th up until March 6th, uh, 2022nd. And uh, before we go forward, I do want to apologize. It seems that I caught a cold, really nasty thing. And so I may sneeze, you know, and my voice may be a bit abnormal here, here and there. But aside from that, uh, things move on as usual and so uh, should you enjoy the content here into this channel <coughs> and uh, you do like my work uh, if you do wish to support me just subscribe for the channel click the the notification bell so you do not miss any of anything i do and uh, as well leaving a comment and uh, setting a like is gonna help tremendously with the youtube algo so with that said, uh, let's check on what kind of uh, experience you are going to have into that particular week. And the first card for you, Libra, that is going to be um, 
temperance uh, with the second one which is the ten of swords followed by the third one here of the nine of cups and uh, afterwards not end but afterwards we do have the four of cups and uh, the final one for you that is going to be actually the two of uh, the two of cups card well that, that's a uh, really good week so it does look like uh, that you libra if i okay so it, this is how it stands you are gonna find the right way okay the right way toward uh the job you want or the right way toward either person you crave for the right way to manifest your love or to manifest your resources whatever you know whatever concern you do have at that state and uh the right way begins uh, with uh, the uh, temperance and uh, that is the moment at the right of the start of the week where you are going to well few things are going to happen there at the start of the week with uh, with the temperance card first one it is that you are going to face a lot of compassion and as well solidarity from people that you do interact with your colleagues are going to be understanding you know uh, your boss is going to be gentle and kind and so on and so forth and so anything that uh, can predispose for a competition is just is not going to be there either into your career or either into your love life just is not going to be there to stumble you obstruct you or fail manifesting your goal and additionally to it with temperance you just will have the knack to finding the way to finding the middle path towards either your goal toward either what you crave for one more one more time <clears throat> It, should, it is just with the temperance and under its energy at the start of the week you will just gonna know what you have to do all right what are the correct actions and as well the correct measures toward one or a another situation and uh, right after that uh <clears throat> the uh just hold on a second here guys because my mic is a little bit all right so that's i believe it's uh, better all right so and right after that we do have uh, the 10 of uh, swords and that is the moment towards from the start towards the middle of the week with the 10 of swords you know people usually take that card in a very bad way or in other words in a very negative it, 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 they do have a negative take toward the card itself but actually the ten of swords in your particular case it is uh, the determination that you're going to show for with the ten of swords <clears throat> you are at the verge of making some irreparable not in a bad way though it's just irreversible either actions or either a decisions because things just can't go the same way they were before and that's why the ten of swords it's usually connected to something bad that it is going to happen all right but it doesn't have to usually is but it doesn't have to and that thing which happens makes you become more determined to get out of it. it take it that way it is like you are hitting the rock bottom and it's just at that point there is no other way there, there is no way to fall beneath that it's just anything you do propels you upwards it, it basically makes you climb that uh, that pole that you hit the rock bottom of and so you can expect to be very determined and as well tenacious if you will at the middle of the week moving forward libra and whatever actions you are to make uh, you need to know that they are irreversible it is just if you say no that means no for good if you do say yes that means yes for good uh, whatever uh, decision you are to do as well uh, that is going to be irrevocable but each one of these things it is just is gonna push you one step forward toward a new dawn that is uh, going to take place in your life from there on moving forward so even if it is accompanied with unpleasant symptoms here the ten of swords whether it is within your career or whether it is within your relationship is gonna pass on very quickly and again things cannot get worse than that for as much worse is going to be but I do not believe that for we do have temperance and if I have to speculate here guys I do believe that these are just the problems that accompany any kind of endeavor and any kind of uh, uh, 
enterprise that is and it's just you find yourself determined to simply blast away eradicate those problems and right after this thing is done it is over i mean you can see for yourself how happy you are going to be with the nine of cups there for the nine of cups here at the middle of the week is just only states that you are gonna sit on a, a position in your life that you're gonna find yourself uh <clears throat> feeling the fullness of the life itself it will feel like a wishes are coming true and that is gonna that is how it's gonna feel like and for most of you is going to be true but you should not forget yourself into it it's just i am appealing to you do not forget yourself into it that is because uh, the accomplishment of wishes with the nine of cups it is the easy really it's the easy part of the card it just it, that that's given all right but what is uh, more difficult is the sustenance so whenever you do have the relationship you want it here at the middle of the week or or the job or the project or the client whatever your goal is whatever whatever floats your boat right uh <clears throat> You need to have the mindset that that thing will require maintenance and therefore it will require a consistent effort of your behalf so you can transform that that, that short term term happiness into a, a long lasting one which you are totally totally capable of in fact i do think that you are going to do a really good job doing so for the next card we have it is the four of cups that is the moment where you are gonna pretty much uh, eat the fruits of your labor here just as the person is sitting watching these cups in front of him which are pretty much there uh his all right or theirs whatever you call it and uh, the four of cups at that stage it is where you have the things so settled whether it is in your career or in your relationships you have them so settled that it is just it becomes like a repetition it's like uh, the initial uh, uh, fulfillment and satisfaction of making progress it's kind of like starting to abate and it feels like it starts to feel more like a chore right to meet with the same person under uh, to meet with the person you love for example always the same way going always at the same places talking always about the same things and so on and so forth and, and with the four of cups well <clears throat> All these things, all these places, uh, and all the subjects that you're talking about are pretty much settled. It's pretty clear that you're on the same page. For example, the card shows that now it's time to you for you to move on on the next thing on the menu. All right, it's not about moving toward a new perspective. It's on the next thing. It's moving to the next thing of the menu right to the next step to to the higher step so to speak whether it is within your career or whether it is within your uh, your relationship and here it is just that um, feeling you may have that you just require more and in fact you do deserve more is going to kick in and i do believe that many of you it is just they are going to you guys are going to sober up realize that that is a repetition and it is becoming boring and so on and so forth and uh, you're going to come up not just only you but everybody who is involved in that situation you together are going to come up with something exciting to do because that's at the end of the day what the four of cups is all about to defeat the boredom of having things so settled and have uh, the excitement or rather like it, it, to invite the excitement and the emotional fulfillment one more time in your life and you are ending up here the week obviously with the two of cups so <clears throat> with this card uh, what is going to be common amongst every single situation whether it is uh, into your career love life friendships etc etc is that things are going to be more peaceful than ever it is just you are going to be like in a uh, in um, in eden's garden let's say it that way but what is going to vary it is how it develops okay so something more specific about the card i want to tell you it is that should that require or should that should that be regarding for love you know you are falling in love with somebody and two of cups is marking it it's important to know that this card operates best when there is no shyness and there is no pride it's literally you have to open up entirely right there at the end of this week and that will allow the the the, the flow of love 
to pretty much stream from one to the another. Also, it will require a uh, cumulative drive. And uh, at the end of the day, wh whomever doesn't have a love interest uh, with the Two of Cups, it's very possible the such is to show up at the end of uh, at the end of this week. And uh, finally, I can just only conclude that the tum uh, seemingly tum tumultuous start, it's not even a start, but a segment of the start of the week, is going to be well rewarded at the end, with peace, with love, uh, and as well with it, just with comfort, so to speak, knowing that just you, you just you didn't just sustain your wish, but also you were able to expand on it. And so that is uh, your weekly general tarot reading, Libra. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we are to see each other uh, next time. Until then, <clears throat> bye.